What is this stuff? What is it? There's all this water falling from the sky. I don't even know how to use my wipers. My car turned them on by itself. The world is ending! Hey guys, vlogging in the car again. Hey, if any of you guys are musicians, you should write me like a little song. Like, make a song. Oh crap. That freeway, there are cars like spun out. I see two cars over there that are spun out in the freeway, like facing the wrong way. This is bad. I gotta call work. Yeah, so the freeway I used to get into work, this is one right by my house. This is like a complete mess because it's raining and Californians don't know how to drive in the rain. Like I said, I was driving over the little overpass to get to the on-ramp. What caught my attention immediately was the fact that I saw all these cars that were like spun out and stuff. And this is just rain, people. It's just rain. If you would slow down, this stuff wouldn't be happening! Look at this. I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens when we get up there. Okay, so I've gone like a thousand feet since I got on the freeway and saw those other accidents. So there's somebody right there who doesn't realize that when you're in the rain, your brakes don't work as good. And he's gonna get a little payday today. And I don't know if you can see the flashing lights, but there's some more up there. Today's vlog is brought to you by Rain-X and Michelin Tires. No, neither one of those guys are sponsors. F you. Okay, so I've literally gone, I don't know, 50 feet since the last video. And on the other side of the freeway, they're cleaning up a mess over there. I don't know if you can see that. Putting her, putting her up on the back of a flatbed. That car spun out and it's all dented in on the side right there. You know what's really pathetic about this? I know some of you guys are watching and you live in like very snowy climates and stuff. And this is just the rain! There's another one. Right there. Look at that. Guys, the other accident is still visible in the mirror right there. And there's that one. So, Mr. Highway Patrol Officer has to go over here and play pick up the pieces because of all these people who can't freaking drive. I swear to God, we all see it here in California. It rains and people think that the water doesn't mean anything. My car weighs 4,000 pounds. How's a little bit of water going to make my car do? I'm spinning out. Oh my God. Ah! That's what it's like in California, people. One time it snowed here in California. Uh, well, okay. It snowed here a bunch of times. But one time it snowed uh, where it actually stuck to the ground. And it stayed on the ground. And I used to drive back and forth to uh, the, the North Valley or, you know, North Hollywood area, North Ridge and all that stuff. And I think the news reported that day that in rush hour traffic, because of the snow, that there was over 10,000 fender benders during rush hour. 10,000. And that was just in LA. Yeah, you can still see the blue lights right there from the Highway Patrol. And I think there's another accident like right here. All right, there's another one. And you can still see the Highway Patrol guy's lights in the mirror there. This guy is just a little fender bender. The back of his car is a little bumped in. Just a little bit. And it's spin out. And then right there, there's another one. So what is that, we're like five? And I have barely even gone to, <laughs> I can still see the freeway ramp behind me. <laughs> oh my, you know it's bad when they pull out the, uh, the commercial Highway Patrol. These guys are only supposed to be dealing with trucks. And this guy just wrecked his pretty little 350Z. See that? Because, what do people do in the rain? Like I said, just a little rain. My car can go fast. Ugh. Okay, so the interesting way to start the vlog, but I knew some of you guys would seriously get a kick out of seeing this because I know some of you live in some very bad weather areas. Inclement weather, snow, and hurricanes and whatever else. I mean, like right now I'm going 60 miles per hour and people are still flying past me. I've been seeing five accidents in about an eighth of a mile. All right, so what I want to talk about today, just one of the last little bits of the whole weight loss thing. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a rest for a little bit. The most common thing I get asked, definitely by far in the last four years, I've probably been asked hundreds of times, what I do weight loss surgery again? Knowing what I knew about how sick I was gonna be for six months 
and uh, any of the, the side effects, which I guess are fairly side effect free. But knowing that I, you know, I was going to go through not only, you know, a solid year worth of like rehabilitation and recovery of learning to eat again and learning to taste food properly again. But one thing I haven't touched on yet, and maybe, oh, there's another one up there. I can see the lights. Anyway, so, uh, and I didn't really touch on it too much. Maybe I'll do one more vlog after this and I'll talk about it, but it's the mental change. There's a mental change that happens because obviously if you're an addict and you have to give up your addiction and you go through some like detox withdrawals, but it lasts a whole lot longer than detox does because, you know, at least once you get over your cravings of drugs or cigarettes or whatever, you can kind of move forward, but you kind of have to keep eating in the meantime, which really screws with your brain. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do a one more vlog about the mental aspect of it. And that's the part that probably took the longest to get back to normal was that. In fact, you know, it caused, it caused a lot of problems with me and my wife for a while there because I was becoming unbearable to live with. So, thank you for sticking around if you're watching. I'm pretty sure she is. She watches my vlogs, which is funny. Because she, I tell her, you're married to me. Why don't you just ask me the things I'm talking about in the vlog? And she says, because you don't tell me these things. So, it's like she's watching a YouTuber talk about things that she thinks are interesting, but she's married to that YouTuber. But the YouTuber is different than the guy she's married to. But even though I'm the same guy, like, Twilight Zone shit right there. Absolutely, I would do it again. You know, people say, well, you know, there's the issue of loose skin and, you know, you can't, you got to give up a lot of the foods you really like and stuff. You know what? The quality of life that I have now is so much greater than the quality of life that I had when I was overweight. I mean, not only, not only do people treat you differently, which is just so sad to say, but not only do people treat you differently, uh, everyone, they talk to you different, they look at you different you're more visible. Believe it or not, when I was 500 pounds, I was completely invisible. And I'm not talking about people seeing me. I mean, people would stare, but I wasn't a person to them. I was like this blob of shame that was walking around. And I, it's like I, I was constantly looked at as this, like, a, you know, a Snorlax walking around. People were like, what the hell is that? You know, it was really bad. So, the quality of life has improved so much. I know I'm gonna live longer. You know, my, uh, so many parts of my life are healthier now. And I know it meant that I was gonna be able to give my daughter a fighting chance because my family has a huge history of obesity. And I don't believe it to be genetic. I believe it to be nothing more than habits. And so I'm, my wife is always, eat, eat, you know, eating pretty healthy. You know, she's always been into, you know, salads and lean proteins and she never ate like over eight, and so she was always you know, very fit and attractive, and was with this 500 pound guy, and we used to get stares and comments and stuff, but, you know, why is it the fatties always get the hot chips? I digress. You know, so we wanted to give my daughter a fighting chance, and it wasn't just for me, I did it for her, and now my daughter, you know, she's, we're, we're dealing with the childhood, you know, I want chicken nuggets, I want hamburger, I want pizza. And granted, we, we let her eat a lot of those things. My, we really portion control. There's times where, she, you know, she's stomping up and down that she wants more and we won't let her have it. She wants more, make her eat fruit or something. So, hopefully that girl has a fighting chance in this world now. It's one of the major reasons that I did this surgery. So, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Sorry to the vlog in the car. We've got so much going on. It's the only time I have time to do it is in the car. So, uh, Live stream, it's gonna be happening by the time this goes up. It'll be happening tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific on my YouTube tech channel. Make sure you guys check it out. YouTube.com forward slash Jay's Two Cents. The link to the channel is down in the description like always. Go and check it out. Give it away those headphones and that processor. And if you guys have entered the win, good luck. And I'll see you at six o'clock. And remember, I've been saying it all over the tech channel and the vlogs. There is a surprise. I love surprises. Make sure you come to the vlog. Or not the vlog, the live stream. Beat the live stream back.